I'm not adding any. I'm just going to use that same brush. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. A little there, then a little here. Why did I switch so quickly? Because I don't want to lose the color that I had. Okay. Now, some people would say you look like you just got beat up. I purposely chose these colors, and I like them, so shh. I remember once I was in a grocery store as a young teenage girl, and this guy must have been higher drunk, and he came up to me. We were waiting in the line. He goes, did you just get beat up? How many colors you got? Was that blue and purple and red on your eyes? And I remember thinking, what a rude, mean man. And what if I had just been beat up? Idiot. He was probably high. Seriously, he seemed kind of messed up. Okay, what was I doing? I think I wanted to use the sprinkle color. And I'm not going to use a blender. I'm going to go back to my shader that we used to put my light on color on with. And we use the sprinkle color. And I am going to use a little more of this just to blend that pink down a little bit. And it also has that kind of goldy color in sprinkles. And it will look a little more deliberate. Kind of toning it down a little. Yep, it's, it did its job. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Yeah, look how that just kind of toned that down. Perfect. That's just what we wanted. Now, it's going to be very important that you blend this out well. So we're going to get a blending brush. Nothing on it. Always kind of like rub it back and forth on the towel to make sure there's nothing previous on it. And I'm going to start right here. See that line? I'm just going to get rid of that. And see it's gone do it again over here but now you've attached makeup to this so round it out on your towel again get it off now I'm gonna blend this out just a little you don't want to blend this too much because if you do you're going to blend the colors so much into each other you can't see them that's enough take that back off again and let's just round that out to get that off and that's a nice blended color see why am I doing my head funny like that? Because at different angles, you can see what that's going to look like. The shimmer will change color. And you'll see what's that going to look like from different angles. Just blend it a little bit. Just so, Do you see how I just got rid of that line right there? That's all I want to do. I don't want to blend those colors together. Oops, and I don't want that on there. And I'm just going to round that out right there. What does that do? It's just getting rid of a line back there. And it also took enough off that I can still see my wing. And that's all I wanted to do. There. And that's the look. And I like it. Oh, wait. I didn't go underneath my eyes any. Let's look at that. Um, what should we do? I'm actually going to do some almost never do. I'm going to use pink under my eye. I'm going to go to this Total Fetch color. And come down below the lash line. See the lash lines right there? We're going below that. Why? To tie in this pink color. Mainly stay out here. I shouldn't have come that far in. But now that I did on one eye, I gotta do it on the other. Just don't do too much. There once and then stay out here. Why? Because I am bringing that pink color in. But remember, when you use a pencil brush, it goes wider. Now I'm going to use a smudge brush, which is what some people would call it. Sigma Beauty calls it a short shader, E20. Cannot do without this. I lick it, just a little dot, just to get, make sure it's wet. And I take some of this Earl Grey. Tap it off really good. And go right on the lash line, almost like you're going through the lashes. Like you'll see all the little hairs move if you're doing it right. And what am I doing? I'm adding that black right in the lashes. So you see now the black and the pink kind of under it. That's what you wanted. Mm. Now why am I being so precise today? I have no idea because you know what I'm doing today? I'm going to help my daughter move. <laughs> but she loves makeup and cinema grandbabies. So I will appreciate it. <laughs> Okay. And that's this palette. I like it a lot. Like it a lot, like it a lot, use it a lot. I guess did you hear that noise? Let's I'll show you why I don't like it. Look, they're all over the place. They all come out. I think what happened was it must have got hot and the glue 
because it's magnetized and you have to know your colors to get them back in the right places. Compre Lane, Dark Truffle. Compre Lane must be that one. Dark Truffle must be that one. You would think the magnets would hold it. Anyway, so I have to be a little careful with that one. But it's right there with my Too Faced chocolate bar. And this one, which I, I just don't use, the Too Faced Gold. I think I got it because it was a gimmick and to talk to you guys about it. Oh, wait a minute. There's a palette in there we need to look at sometime. I don't even remember doing a tutorial with this, y'all. This was the Cargo 